of them lies. But you gotta make it, cause you gotta preach it, that's every time. Yo guys, Sid Oak here, coming at you with a quick tutorial on how to get a BO1 trainer for BO1 on Steam. Um, quick disclaimer, this will also work with Plutonium, but for example purposes, I'm going to be using Steam. So for starters, I'm going to be putting a link to this in the description, which will likely be my Discord server. But nonetheless, um, even states there, you need to have BO1 open. So what I'm going to do for the time being, there's even a source code if anyone wants to program it all, um, which I'm not going to show you. But I'm going to have that ready. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get BO1 open. Uh, what the hell? That's new. This is when you was popular. When was you popular? Um, really validating out of thin air because I'm trying to sync up with plutonium. Uh, now new. Um, I'm looking for Black Ops One. There you are. So we're gonna click play. I'm just going to click on Solar for peace of mind. I'm going to go to Kino. So obviously controllers work and everything else. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pause that right there. We're gonna press the start button or Windows key, whichever you prefer to call it. I am then gonna open up the BO1 trainer whilst BO1 is running in the background. We're gonna launch more info, run anyway. As you can see, it's up and running. It's a different trainer to something I've previously used. So basically, you've got all your options here. So you can turn on God mode, no recoil, um, you've got player speed, um, cash health. Um, so if I was just to put uh, that for example. Um, I'm going to turn on unlimited ammo as well. So then we're going to go back to the game. And as you can see, it works as God mode will be on. I've got unlimited ammo. So yeah, as you can see, it does work. Just be mindful of the lag if you do end up making multiple changes as you go. But I'm just, again, using this for example purposes. So as you can see, I'm able to run round on round one. Um, buy a bunch of weapons like so. Like I've said before, again, this does also work on Plutonium if it's of any interest to you guys. You can run this. Um, I don't know if you can run it on public matches because it may or may not get you banned, but I've used preview a previous trainer, which I currently can't find. thought I had it on my PC, but nonetheless, um, this basically allows you... You can also do it in private matches, Co-op, but you just, I don't believe you'd be able to do it public. Like, you could probably run it public, but... Like, on Steam, but if you used to use this on Plutonium... You'd only be able to do solo and private match. So as you can see, you've got unlimited ammo right there. Still got lots and lots of points. So if I wanted to, I'm just going to quickly buy that door. So if I wanted to, I can come back to the trainer. You can turn on 120 FOV, for example, um, unlock FPS. Um, so I'm going to go back to the game and hope it doesn't crash. So as you can see, I've unlocked the FPS and I've got 120 
frames per second as you can see but yeah I'm just you know briefly running around so you guys can see it works like so if I wanted to I can't be sure but I think the active ingredient rots your mind so obviously we've got all the packs like well, we've got four packs I should say They've still got all the points as you can see you can take them off at any point um, still only round one again like I would also like to presume and throw out that this trainer could potentially work on like modded um, like custom maps and whatnot I would like to believe so because it's an external piece of software so as you can see getting packed with all them points with I want to say accumulated by non authentic, non legitimate means. So, as you can see, this is also unlimited ammo. I want to presume the monkeys are unlimited ammo, but I'm not sure. Yes, they are. As you see, everything's unlimited ammo. I've also run them by claymores, so everything else there would be unlimited ammo. I just wouldn't want to put too many down in case it bugs out. So now it's just to press it. As you can see, it's an infinite too, so you get lots and lots of unlimited ammo. So obviously that all works, absolutely lovely. But if I was to go back to it, for example, and see what else I've got. Um, there's console commands, there's player speed, you've got your health. I think this is just a solo one as well. Um, so you've got um, start stop for that. You've got you can turn on floating zombies so when they die they float up. Um, there's no clip, there's rapid fire, which saves you the double tap pack, which is always nice. Um when I was to go back into it whenever it loads. See, zombies floating. Oh, they need a little time to catch up there. So as you can see, that works. I think this would be missing is some form of aim bot on here. But all in all, it works. Do hope you guys enjoyed the video and tutorial on how to get this to work. Again, I'll be leaving this in the description so you guys can download it no problem but until then guys i'll see you in my next video don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you found this useful and until then guys peace